Hey guys, Andy at The Skin Deep here. If you love the experience of the and and want to try it in the comfort of your own home, we have our handy dandy The And card game available at theskindeep.com slash shop so you can play with your loved ones. Enjoy. Use five words to describe what you think kissing me would be like. Oh, cool. Good. Okay. Um, slow. <laughs> um, um, I need to like, look at you and take you in while I say this. <laughs> um, passionate. Awkward, because I've never kissed you before. Um, like, silly and uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for. I guess steady, because slow and steady go together. <laughs> Could you elaborate on silly? Just because, well, I mean, just in terms of like that we've never met before. Mm -hmm. So I think it just, I just sometimes get giggly when I'm like, it's a new <laughs> situation. I'm, I'm not gonna lie that those five words describe me as a person okay. really well. Okay. <laughs> so I cool. think it's kind of funny. Oh, good. Cool. Um, what's the first thing you noticed about me? Hmm. I don't remember. I was too busy looking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you had brown eyes because I, I mean, I, I just spent the time looking at your eyes, so I don't really know. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, same to me. But it was my. But it, what was the first thing I think thing I'm about in me? the same boat where I was just, just busy staring. Yeah. Um, I think I noticed the tattoos was the first thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was expecting, but I just noticed they were both kind of like the same length. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact. Mm. Oh. oh. How many partners do you think I've been physically intimate with? Ooh. Seven. Total random guess. <laughs> Are you counting? No, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm supposed to have a reaction to oh. this. <laughs> you don't have to, to be you like, don't have to tell me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, no. <Yeah>. You <laughs> don't have to. You don't have to go further. <laughs> I guess, uh, would you like to know? Yeah, <laughs> just um, while we're here. <laughs> it's not far from that number, um, but it's definitely, it's definitely under 10. No, it's definitely under 12. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I between, think between ten and twelve is really what we're. Yeah, yeah. There was so I was I was in the I was in the army for a long time, and during that time, I, I almost never got to see women. Yeah. So I think I think if I was in college during that time, my numbers would be a little bit more skewed in a different direction. But so there there was just so much of my pubescent years that I I, I didn't I wasn't even around women. Yeah. I didn't even get to see them. So. Hey, do your thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> cool. What about you? Just my number. Oh, shit. No. I think I'm supposed to guess. Oh, just, yeah, feel free. Okay. Go for it. I'm going to go with six. Two. Two? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, in my two serious relationships. I'm like, oh. I'm like very forward, so I think I confuse people sometimes because I'm like very sexually conservative, but I'm like totally liberal. I'm like, do your thing, everyone. But mm. yeah, I'm very like sexually conservative in my, in my own life, but I'm want everyone to do whatever they want to mm. do. What would your ex warn me about being in a relationship with you? Dun, dun, dun. I think I, um, a lot of the things that we had problems with, I've been, I've been working on. Mm. And I, I think the last, the last I was, we were together for a long time. And I think the last few years, I was getting better as a person. You know, I'm, I'm, I was focusing on being a better person for myself. And I think along those lines, I forgot that I had a partner mm. and she had needs as well and I wasn't, I don't think I was there for her for her needs. So maybe I, yeah, she probably warned you that I'm a little self-centered. Yeah. But I'm working on it. Yeah, good, great, I'm you should be. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All oh, right. Yeah, another card. I'm like a little shaking still because okay. I'm still nervous. Take your time, take your time. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Oh, well, it's, a, it's the same question. What would your ex warn me about dating you? Oh, gosh. I guess the last ex. Um, well, that relationship ended about two and a half years ago, and I think I ended that one. I think since then I've grown in ways that I like, never could have imagined. 
Um, and I think I'm kind of the opposite um, that you are, where I think I lost myself in that relationship. And I kind of was so, because we're both creative people, and I got mm. so kind of invested in his career, and I became like a comedy girlfriend, and I just loved being a part of like that creative life. And I think I lost sight of what I was trying to pursue. So I guess since you've, since you've been dealing that with that so like for the past few years, or since it's, since it's been separation, yeah. I guess, like would would you think that's still an issue? I don't think so. It's like I feel like I've become I've developed a sense of independence. And I'm actually pursuing the things that I think I wanted to at that time, mm -hmm. and I'm so confident where I am, who I am, and um, yeah, I just don't see myself ever being like losing that again because I've worked so hard to gain that, and now I'm just I think the better, more confident you are as yourself, it just you can be a strong partner to somebody else, but mm. also have your own life and your own things that you're pursuing kind of come together. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What advice would you give your son regarding love and relationships? Oh, that's hard. I guess it's difficult for me because I'm, I'm trying to Okay, so let me start this with my, this is something that I'm really, I guess, public about, I'm open about, is that my, my greatest fear is to one day be a bad father. Not that I have kids yet, but uh, I guess I, I didn't have a good one growing up. And so I, uh, you know, I have really good examples of what a bad father is like. And so I'm afraid one day I'm going to be just like them. And so when I was thinking about, you know, what I'm going to be like when I'm a dad, I, even right now, even today, if I'm doing something and, uh, you know, would I be able to tell my son or my daughter about it? And if I can't, then maybe that's not something I should be doing. Mm -hmm. And so my, I guess my advice to my son would be, you know, if it, if it feels like, if it feels like it's wrong or if it feels like you're only thinking about yourself, then maybe you shouldn't do it, right? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that's great advice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, what do you think that I have yet to learn about myself? Oh. Da, da, da. I keep just making up these answers and I'm just... Just say them, go for it. Uh, I don't know, I think maybe you might not realize how pretty you are. Like, um, I don't know, you don't seem like the kind of person that probably goes on Instagram and, and, <laughs> and just has so many pictures of yourself because, you know, you know the difference between knowing how good looking you are as opposed to like, you know, uh, I'm not really sure, so I'm not gonna put that on there. Right. Does that make sense? Are you saying that girls that post selfies think of themselves as like prettier? Or um, what do you mean by that? No, there's, I mean, I'm not gonna say that every single one of them do that because yeah. that's, that's too much. Um, I think you're, you're probably a lot more humble. So I guess you probably think that you're one way when in reality you're, you're like, a lot more attractive than you might think you are. Okay. Does that make sense? I, yeah, I get what you're okay. saying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, cool. Is this that's me? You, yeah. Is this me? Okay. Uh, what's something you think I need to hear? <clears throat> hmm. Um, I think that you need to hear that you can 100% be a great dad one day. And like we all have our shit, like we all come from weird, like families are fucking insane and weird sometimes, a lot of the time. Um, and it's really scary to especially not have like a great example. Um, but I think that teaches us so much. And so you kind of know what not to do. Um, but it is easy to kind of get caught up in those patterns and to just be scared that you're going to make the same mistakes. And I just think that you should know that I think the fact that you even have the fear of being a bad dad means that you can be a really, really good dad. Mm. So I think important to hear. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> what surprised you what surprised you most over the course of this conversation? I don't know if there's anything that's been super surprising to me. Mm. I think it's just a learning process of getting to know like little details. Um, just new information just coming in slowly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, I'm definitely in the same boat. Yeah, yeah, nothing has been like, oh wow, I would have never expected mm -hmm. that, I don't think so. I think the one surprise I've, I've had this whole time is how nervous I am. Yeah, do you feel better now? Or are you <laughs> no, <laughs> that's okay. I'm still just as nervous okay, as I was fair. before the blindfold yeah. even came off. Like I don't even have like a table Shield. to yeah. cover me. Totally I'm like, oh my God, yeah. you could just see how nervous I am this yeah. whole time. I couldn't even tell. I wouldn't have known if you didn't say it, so you're, you're good. Do you think 
I feel chemistry between us? I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily feel like this intense chemistry, but I feel like there's definitely like just a human connection here. And I think we're both just like, it's a really nice conversation. Um, I think we just, in this setting, I think we both are kind of committed to at least some kind of connection. I think I'm listening, you're listening, and it's nice to just have this intimacy um, no matter where it goes. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you feel like any intense chemistry, but. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, I, I don't really understand um, what it's meant when somebody says if I feel chemistry yeah. or not. Um, but, I, but I do, I guess there, there was one change from the beginning and then towards the end of the conversation, I, def I definitely felt like, in the beginning I was like, oh, she's really pretty. And then uh, as the conversation kept going, I found myself getting more and more attracted to you. So I don't know if that's chemistry or if it's just like, okay, well, I'm getting to know you more, right. so of course I'm going to yeah. like you more. Yeah. Uh, so if that, if that counts, then I'll, then I'll say yes. Yeah. No. Chemistry is weird and confusing sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Hey guys, Andy again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our work, help us make more at theskindeep.com slash Patreon. We really appreciate it. Bye guys.